Hello friends, in this video we will make potassium bromate. Potassium bromate is an oxidizing agent and is made by dissolving excess of bromine in potassium hydroxide. A solution of potassium hypobromite is formed which then disproportionate to give potassium bromate and potassium bromide as it is unstable. Potassium bromate is less soluble and crashes out of the solution. Materials required include 7 grams of potassium hydroxide and 10 ml of liquid bromine. Start by taking 7 grams of potassium hydroxide in a 250 milliliter beaker. Now add 25 ml of distilled water into it. This will heat up a lot and potassium hydroxide will dissolve in water. With the help of a glass steering rod, dissolve it well and the solution will eventually turn clear. Once the solution has cooled down, set up a separatory funnel on top of the beaker and pour in 10 ml of liquid bromine into it. Also place a stirring bar in the potassium hydroxide solution and start stirring the solution. With constant stirring was added liquid bromine very slowly like one drop in every one to two seconds. You can notice how the color of the solution changes from a light yellow color to a dark yellow color and then to orange and finally red in color. What is happening here is potassium hydroxide reacts with the liquid bromine forming potassium hypobromite which immediately disproportionates because it is unstable to form potassium bromate and potassium bromide. Potassium bromate that is formed is pretty much less soluble compared to potassium bromide therefore by the end of the addition of liquid bromine the potassium bromate will crash out of the solution without we doing anything here is what you will get at the end of addition of liquid bromine you can see that the potassium bromate has already crystallized out of the solution and the solution has a red color to it this is because of the presence of excess of bromine now what we do is just give a simple filtration so that the precipitated potassium bromate can be retrieved. After that the filtrate is kept in a refrigerator to cool down so that more amount of potassium bromate will be separated out. Both of them was mixed together and then was purified by dissolving in four times the amount of hot water and cooling slowly. The final yield was about 7 grams. So that's about it in this video. Thank you to these guys who are helping me out in my lab work and experiments. You can also support me financially through Patreon or PayPal. The links are given in the description. So once again thank you. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications.